Good morning. Uh, welcome to the Playroom, otherwise known as Jess Gift Storage Central for now. Um, I don't have everything yet. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is the latest I've ever gone. Um, life got in the way. <laughs> um, but today, um, so I, I've just kind of organized my gifts out by like person and family and where they're going. All the gifts are going to different places. Some things are being shipped. Some gifts are being taken places on Christmas Eve. Some gifts are being taken places on Christmas Day. So, you know, some are going to friends. Um, some are going to my students. So, and this, like I said, we still have more to get. And this does not include Rachel's or Adam's, which are hidden elsewhere, not out in plain sight. Um, but anyway, so it's Saturday. Um, We've got nine days to Christmas, and today I'm going to be working on getting my students' little gift bags um, put together. So I just got them, like, I'm going to, well, first of all, I have these little bags I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I'm obviously going to be putting some Hershey Miniatures in there. Um, I'm going to throw little bells in for, you know, flavor. Pencils, like one each, probably, and some candy canes. Nothing crazy, because honestly... Um, most of the time, the week before Christmas, a lot of students cancel at the last minute, and then I end up with all these extra gifts. <laughs> so I kind of stopped going, like, all out with the presents, because sometimes it's, if I got something for a specific person and they didn't show up, they, they also tend to miss the week after Christmas, too. So it's like mid-January, it's kind of weird giving them, like, a belated Christmas gift or holiday gift. So, but I'm, you know, I still want to give them a little bit of something. So I'm going to work on putting these bags together today. So I have one less thing to do next week because I have to start giving them out on Monday. So Rachel is helping me out. We're writing out some um, gift tags for my students. Okay, so we're going to be crazy and attempt to finish our Christmas shopping today at Walmart um, because we still have a few more people we need to get for my dad, um, Adam's nieces, so yeah, we need to get a whole bunch of stuff still. Rachel's teacher, so here we go. I like the travel one, I think. Yeah, right here, Adam. Yeah, that face paint fairy. done with our shopping and now we're gonna take a look at some of our lights ah good morning all right it's Monday uh, last week of school and work before Christmas and um, Christmas prep for me does not just mean gifts and all that. It also means practicing for the hardest singing night of the year, um, Christmas Eve. <laughs> and uh, this year it's going to be even more difficult because Christmas Eve is a Sunday, which is also the last Sunday of Advent, which means I have Advent for church in the morning. <laughs> And it's where I work, the church where I work is a half hour away from my house. So I have to do that in the morning, then I come home for a few hours. And then in the evening I have to go to another church 
um, where I'm the soloist first. It's like a seven o'clock service. Um, it's the church I sing at during the summer, during the Primanti Brothers Day in the Life. Um, and then I go back to my work church for Midnight Mass, and I have big major solos at all of this stuff. So it's extremely demanding, and every year I'm exhausted. Um, so my Christmas prep is not just consisting of gift prep and all that. It's also consisting of preparation and practice for Christmas Eve. And today I'm going to be practicing some movements of the Mozart Mass that we're going to be singing. Um, so yeah, in this Christmas prep video, I'd also kind of like to just let you see what I'm practicing every day because starting today I'm practicing every day until Christmas Eve um, at least a little bit not like a ton because I don't want to overdo it either I do have four hours of whoa I do have four hours of voice lessons today as well so I can't blow up my voice out okay so this morning I'm focusing on wrapping stuff that we need to ship out in particular everything for Adam's family because they don't live anywhere nearby and it was really fun buying this year because his brother just had twin girls and he already has a three-year-old <laughs> so that's fun also need to ship some stuff out to Aunt Steffi unfortunately because it doesn't look like she's going to be making it here with the cats for Christmas like she did for Thanksgiving. Of course she's not getting fake Mario that's Rachel's but fake Mario is showing you what we got the cats a little stocking um we've got her a cranky bar <laughs> some fake fruit some lip gloss and some Dunkin candles so we have to wrap all this stuff that we need to ship out today. All right, so we've got these gifts wrapped and um, almost ready to go. We need to buy a manila envelope to send. We always put Rachel's um, school picture in the cards, so we need that's for Adam's mother, um, but it won't fit in a card. The rest of the little ones we're just going to put in cards. And Rachel has to work on the cards. She likes to write her own name in and draw pictures and stuff, so I'll take these to my studio later while I'm teaching. Um, hopefully she can get this done, um, at least the first four cards, so a little at a time. All right, so now I'm going to just take stock of the other gifts I need to um, wrap and um, just see, you know, if I need any extra paper or bags. Just like every year, it, I feel like I'm missing something that I need, like a not a big enough bag or a too big of a bag or something, so, or not enough wrapping paper. So I'm just going to like take stock of what I have and what I will need to get. All right, a couple things. First of all, I'm about to go pick up Rachel from school and I get to disperse my beautiful <laughs> presents today. Uh, to my students, I hope they all show up. I have actually quite a few students coming today. It's still a week before Christmas. Usually like the years where, you know, like say Christmas was on like a Wednesday, that's, or something, or like a Thursday, like Christmas Eve was a Wednesday or something. Sometimes when Christmas is in the middle of the week, I have a lot of cancellations. Even if it's on like a Friday, Saturday, sometimes the closer you get to Christmas, the more like cancellations and even no shows I have. Um, but this time, like this Monday, is a week before Christmas, um, and I'll be done Thursday teaching, and then I st there's still like two days before Christmas Eve and all that, so I'm really hoping everybody shows up this week so I can give them their presents. Because every year I end up with like leftover gifts that don't end up being given, and I feel really sad. Um, the other exciting thing, not exactly Christmas related, but life related is we bought a little crock pot and we're going to try using it because our schedules have been so busy lately. It's been really hard to make dinner and we've been eating out a little too much or not eating out, but like getting takeout a little too much in my opinion. So, um, I am going to attempt to start making stuff in this. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not a very good cook, but maybe I can handle throwing things in a pot and not touching it all day that I might be able to do that. Um, so stay tuned. I may try this later in the week. I don't have anything to put in it right now. I have to go to the grocery store. But later in the week, I may be trying this, so stay tuned. All right, off to work I go. 